Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to WeWin's presentation for the Rack Management Systems and Solutions. My name is Stephen Huang, and I'm the executive director and local base here in the Bay Area. So joining me, we also have Jack uh, from Taiwan, Jack Hong from Taiwan. Um, he will be able to, he will be uh, presenting um, sections for the, all the codes and uh, comments if you're interested. And he will be, if, we, the, if the time allows, he will be answering the questions if you have. So in the next 10 minutes, I will be talking about our open RMC, breaking down into four sections. Um, the display is actually, can you change the display? Breaking down into two, uh, four sections. First, we will have a brief introduction of the system that we're actually developing, the open RMC. Then we'll go over how we do the system. Uh, then we'll actually have a, another introduction for, for the system boot up and the sled discovery. Then we'll actually have the open BMC background API implementation. Then the last section is going to be a demo. So let's go over the system overview. So we're using a system, uh, it's actually our open edge EP100 servers and it's our development platform. The EP100 is a 3U5 node system, whereas one node is being used as a power and the RMC sled. And the rest of the five nodes is actually can be used for compute and other edge applications. The EP100 is actually EIA 19 form factor with dual 200 watts AC or DC power supplies. The chassis is short, therefore it's ideal for edge applications. Um, it's only 17 inch deep. And each of the node actually comes with the OCP 3.0 NIC, and the chassis level RMC runs at the power and RMC module. EP100 is actually a field proven platform with, which received multiple um, compliance certifications, including o ONF Ether, uh, Ether certified. And we also have the same platform actually being tested and proven in several worldwide um, plug fest. So here is the hardware system stack overview. So we have the EP100, um, we have, um, we have uh, PSU and RMC, and internal switch resides on the RMC card. Then going through the LAN and I, I, IP, I, IPMB is actually talked to the BMC at each of the slats. So there are five BMC chips actually going through the IPMB and LAN and then you know, talk to the RMC board. Then the RMC board actually goes uplink northbound to your, 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 your control, um, control center. So instead of actually having five individual um, BMC connections, now it's actually consolidated into one RMC connections. So next, we're actually going to talk about uh, how system boot up and do the sled discovery. So the, the open RMC we have consider, uh, con contains the software stack for hardware layer, kernel, U-boot, and application layer, app layer. The hardware layer go through the AST2520 chips for PSU, real-time clock, SPI flash, EEPROM, network switch, and sensors. The kernel and U-boot layers includes I2C, GPIO, LAN, timer, UART, SOC, BSP, and the configurations, etc. The application layers including IPMI, SLED monitoring, um, Redfish, sensor monitoring, and the firmware updates, etc. So after power up, the RMC boots from U-Boots loading Linux kernel, then load the R IPMI stack services. Then the chassis device monitor. Then the SLED monitor task will get initialized and RMC start to communicate with each of the SLEDs. After successfully communicate with each of the SLEDs, BMC has dedicated IPMB bus to monitor the status from each of the slats. Redfish sled stack then will collect the sled, sled system information and the 
populate them to the open RMC northbound via API uh, specified format. This is how we do the system boot up and sled discovery. Next, we'll be talking about the northbound API and implementation. As mentioned before, RMC collects various data for temperature, power supply status, fruits, et cetera. Through the IPMB, it is also communicate with the BMC on each of the slats with the addition of fan status. Then the RMC communicate back with the host via northbound API. When going through the northbound, the RMC provides status and controls for PSU status. The, the sled power status and the controls as well as the thermal information for each of the sleds. In addition, the northbound API also has account, uh, account management for administration controls, et cetera. Next, I'm actually going to do some demos, which the demo is actually uh, performed by Jack, our, our engineer. And uh, here I'm actually going to do the demonstration of how we use the OpenRMC Northbound API. Here we go, Jack. Sorry about that, uh, technical difficulties. Session, I will demo some open RMC Northbound API. With I'm sorry, I'm gonna start over, I'm sorry. Steven for introducing me. Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Ming Taipei. As Steven mentioned, in this session, I will demo some OpenRMC Northbound API we have implemented on AP100. Firstly, we can get the list of RMC and all traces laid on AP100 by RESTFISH API. There is one chase itself, which means RMC itself, and there are five traces laid from state 0 to 4. For RMC firmware version info, we can get it by management API, which will show RMC controller related info. This shows RMC firmware version is 0 0.8.0. The chassis rate label power related info can be got by power API. This shows this is power consumption, and we also support power capping. There are two power supply on EP100, so we can get PSU has status. This shows one volt standby power sensors. There are some ADC voltage sensors to show current RMC how it works as normal or not. And this shows PSU voltage sensor. There are five traces there on ET100. We can check each state status by the API like this to get the state traces info. Slate info includes slate ID, SS tag, LED status, and power state. It also lists slate sensor API like power and the thermal API. We can get thermal related sensor through slate thermal API. 
It shows Ben's sensor name, Ben's speed reading of state. It also shows inlay and outlay temperature sensors. And this shows the CPU temperature sensor. Sledges control the ball power pump of cycle agents. Here we demo power of case. You can see current state one power state is on. We perform traces power control on state one by using rest force agent to send JSON payload into API. To use force off to turn off the state traces power. RMC create a task for state power action, then send power of command to the state through IPMD. After several seconds, we can check power state of state one chases. So you can see its power state is off. Here is the end of the demo. Thanks. Go back to you, Steven. So, thank you, Jackie. Um, so basically, um, this is not final. I just want to actually describe over here the EP100 with the open RMC is an ongoing effort that we have. Um, currently, we have multiple POC, and very importantly, is that we have our own factory in Taiwan. Um, in Tainan, Taiwan, that's actually running the Edge application with the automatic and AI applications using the, using the EP100. Um, and it is certainly running the open RMC that we just described. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, this is an ongoing effort and we're open for all the recommendations, all the questions, all the suggestions. And so please do not hesitate um, in reaching out to us and then I want to actually remind you the Open RMC has a new spec coming out, the Open RMC 1.0 or 2.0, whatever it is. Um, so we're actually very welcome you for any comments ongoing. But in the same time, I'm going to actually leave about 30 seconds if you have any question you want to ask Jackie. And whenever you ask questions, I'm going to actually repeat your question. Yeah. Yes. Uh First, thank you for the presentation. So I have a quick question uh, regarding the uh, OpenMC uh, Southbound interface implementation. Mm -hmm. So uh, is there any plan you have the Redfish based implementation for the Southbound API? Yeah, I think the question is that is there any plan that we have for the Redfish implementation for the Southbound API, correct? Yes. Uh, Jackie? Yeah, uh, we have uh, configured to, to import that. And uh, currently, we uh, select uh, control that we already have some of the uh, refuge support on the uh, source bound. So we will continue to implement in the source bound. Yeah. OK. Yeah, so our time is running out. And actually, the next presentation is also mine. But actually, I want to quickly wrap up with what Jackie just answered. That's, um, in our current southbound implementation, it's already supporting the Redfish. Thank you.